Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Wavy, and today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust your camera and change your camera settings in GTA 5 Online. So first, what you guys have to do is hit the touchpad here on the PlayStation. On Xbox, it's like the button right here, but you press it once, it's going to zoom it out. You press it again, it's going to go in first person, and then every time you press it, it's going to keep zooming it out. And then you can go in first person, so you can experiment with these, see which one you like best. Personally, I like the second touch right there. Um, and then if you hit options, and then you scroll all the way over to where it says settings, go to camera, and you guys can change these. So allow independent camera modes is that let's say you want to do first person, um, like when you're walking around and like third person when you're in the car, when, whatever you're last saved with, um, you, it'll go to that. So you could, if you're in the, if you were third person in the car last, and then you walk out of it, when you go back in the car, it'll be third person. So you, so you can have it where you want third person in the car, first person walking around and stuff. You guys can change the camera height as well manually to either low or high. You can change the first person on level camera, the field of view. I recommend maxing that out. Ragdoll, head bobbing. You could do your hood, so which is you have a hood view when you're in, when you're driving. If you want to be in first person, you have the hood view, so it's a little easier to drive if you are driving in first person. And you can also do first person drive by camera relative to vehicle, and you can also restore to default. So yeah, there's some settings you guys can do for your cameras. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm out. Peace.